Hi, Simon here from Top Shelf Instruments, and today we're going to talk about some instruments made by the Divisor Company. Divisor is the group that makes Bacchus, as well as other brands like Headway and Mimos. They're some of the best instruments made in Japan. They're really awesome, and so we love having them through the shop. We've got a few in here at the moment, and so we've borrowed some talent from our friend Alex Folvig and Kyle Hawkins. They're going to demo some stuff for us, and we're going to listen to some of these great Japanese-made beauties. So we're going to start with the Headway brand. So Headway launched in 1977. It was started by two guys, one gent called Yatsuzuka K and a master luthier called Yasuo Mimos. And they started in 1977. The first thing they did is went out and bought a vintage Martin D28. They spent a million yen on the guitar and then they spent a year pulling it apart trying to find out exactly how it was made, all the intricacies of how it was put together, and then making notes about what they wanted to do themselves as well as what they could do better in their opinion. A million yen now equates to about $12,000, um, but if you take that back to 1977, that would have just about bought you a house in Hobart. Gives you an idea of how much cash they threw into it. Headway stuff's made entirely by hand. They're based in Nagano up in the mountains in Japan. It's never been a big operation like Greco or Yamaha. It's always been small scale. And Headway made acoustics between 1979 when they finally launched production and 1983 when their factory burnt down. So the one we're listening to today is an HD 105 made around 1980 from this first run of Headway guitars before the factory burnt down. It's a superb guitar, it sounds amazing. It's got that real Martin style boomy bass and huge projection. Very satisfying. Here's Alex. The next brand we're going to look at is Bacchus. We love Bacchus guitars here, we've sold heaps of them. They do amazing basses as well, they're some of the best guitars money can buy. Bacchus was launched in 1991, uh, but you've got to take a step back to look at why and what was happening. So in 1983, the factory where Headway was working out of burnt down. So they opened a new factory in 1984 and launched their official company named Divisor, and their slogan was devising the future. They were interested in trying to make tomorrow's guitars today and doing things in an innovative way and so they were releasing guitars under the divisor name for a few years and then in 1991 they launched Bacchus which at the time is mostly doing Fender and Gibson vintage style guitars the execution on them is outstanding they were made in a much smaller scale than the bigger brands of the time the Grecos and Tokais of the world everyone who worked at the factory was trained under Yasuo Mimos himself he used to pick all the wood that went into every guitar they would make their own hardware they'd make their own pickups they would do things that no one else could be bothered doing and the execution on these guitars is outstanding every little thing is perfect no CNC machines are used everything is done by hand when you're picking a bit of wood and you have to carve it by hand you pay much closer attention to the grain patterns you're looking at everything in a much more detailed way than if you're slapping things into a machine to cut it out for you so we've got a pair of Les Pauls today that Alex is going to play for us. One's a BLS 98 in black, made in the late 90s. One's a BLS 120 in Cherry Sunburst. That one's had a pair of Damasio pickups dropped into it. They're amazing Les Pauls, they sound great. And then Kyle's going to play a couple of basses for us. 
We've got a BJB64, which is a 64 style jazz bass. And then we've also got a newer example, which is a Craft Series Woodline Ash 5. That's a two piece Ash body, modern J style. Sounds enormous. Have a listen. The last brand we're going to look at today is Mimos. Mimos is the custom shop style, limited runs, end of the Bacchus brand. They mostly do Fender style offerings, executed to an incredible standard. Everything's done completely by hand. They're made by a very small team up in Nagano in Japan. The bass we're looking at today is an MJM1, and that's a jazz bass style bass. It's got a one piece ash body, all solid, no join. Fretboard is rosewood, and that's bound 
mound with a little millimetre of rosewood. Again, all cut out by hand. It's got a recessed neck plate on an angle so you can get up to the top frets easier. It sounds incredible. It's got a pair of original Mimos jazz bass pickups in it and the tone of it is outrageous. So Kyle's going to play that one for you. So thanks for joining us today to listen to some of these excellent Divisor guitars. Divisor is a much smaller operation than some of these bigger brands like Yamaha or Ibanez and that means that they can focus on producing things to an outstanding quality standard. When you have these guitars in your hands you feel it straight away, they are works of art, they just feel absolutely outstanding. Compared to mass marketed guitars out of America or out of Japan, there's a level of love that goes into them which just will warm your heart when you have them in your hands. Thanks to the guys who've done some playing for us today. If you like this sort of video, we're going to be making more. So let us know what you want to hear about in the land of nerdy guitars. Woo! Uh, also, you can buy these guitars. They're all available on our website currently except for the Woodline 5 which is already sold. Or if you're watching this video in several months, sorry. They're all gone, but there's probably more coming, so hey.